Hey guys, Twin Game and Jerry here with episode 3 of the What for Career Mode. So, when, while we this video starts, we are starting off with a game against Southampton in the Premier League. Hoping to um, get back from a, a defeat in our last game against West Brom. A quite undeserved one, but an amazing goal from them. So, while this, vid while this machines are warming up and lining up, I just wanted to say a story, guys, about the last three, I think, or two days. About not uploading, I've I've been really busy with school. And I've been a lot busier than I thought I would be, and I just want to say sorry, guys. And we're going to be trying to get two videos out to you guys today, and we're going to be trying as much as possible now to um, get videos out to you. We didn't realize before how how little time we would have to make videos, so we'd have to be um, doing them really quick. And like on the holidays, we'd have kind of like a break so we could do one and then we could do something and then we could do one and yeah so also I want to talk to you guys about um, the kit numbers on my team I'm gonna fix them I think next episode so I'm gonna have some proper kit numbers instead of just getting all my new signs just 38, 39, 40 stuff like that and yeah so we come up with it we come up in our first of two games in this episode. Hopefully we can get three points and continue with our push to stay into this in this division. So in from kickoff, Southampton would start off with, with the first chance of the game and a pretty good one as well. Gaston Ramirez linking up with Van Yama with the one two and and passing it to Jess. Jay Rodriguez finally said it right. Jay Rodriguez and a good save from the goalkeeper to, to the United schools and keep them at 1 0 0. So Southampton would have another chance as well as Pele broke away from from us. We would win the ball back, but they we would just give it straight back to them. And they would cross the ball in and we would feel, fail to deal with it and almost went, went, came in off. I'm not sure who that was, but it would have been a very fluky goal if it went in. So, um, yeah, so we, we're starting off for some possession from the back, some good one twos. There was Loftus Sheik and pretty sure Inachia. They would move the ball up to Ababa and he would cut inside and take the shot, but the shot would go wide and not the best one. So, uh, what can you do? But we would have a chance here from the corner. We whipped it in and it would it would go wide, but a decent start to the game um, from us. Um, at least we're not losing yet. So yeah. So we would have a chance before half time, as Neon would take a long shot from outside the box, so that it stands over the bar. I decided to take it just because we had space. Um, yeah, so into the into the second half we go as. As they as they passed the ball around and Shane Long probably should have done better with that then he did and so we come to the 64th minute here and Southampton still having the better of chances as Jay would you give and we bring the keeper out I'm not sure why I think it was stupid of me they passed the ball to them and somehow um, I think it I'm not sure who it was but somehow the one of the Southampton players missed that it was pretty much an open goal from one yard or pretty much half the open goal. But Odegaard would take a shot here and the goalkeeper fails to collect and Southampton would eventually get the ball away. So we would have another chance here. here and so Neon would cut good, show some good dribbling to cross the ball into Ibarra who gets the slightest touch but good save from the goalkeeper and, and a goalkeeper parries Odegaard's shot comfortably. And that, that was how the game would end as well. And sorry for a little bit of glitch there. I think it was a glitch there, but yeah, that was how the game would end. And we're just gonna get into some training here. So a decent training session, quite a few stats going up. And we'll get into our next game of the our, our next and the last game of the episode. So it's we would face Derby County in the capital. Cup. The first round of no, well, not the first round for us. The no, I mean the first round of the capital one cup. Um, it would, it would, it would end out to be a hard one. So. Derby County would start off in the 24th minute. Would start off with the first chance as they pass the ball around quite smartly and put it into space and 
they would get a decent shot away, but decently saved from the goalkeeper that we're playing in goal that match. So we were starting a bit of a rotation side in this game, not no, not the normal starters that you guys are used to seeing in the other episodes. So yeah, so Alari is showing some good dribbling here. You know, pass the ball to Jesse Lingard with an amazing touch, and he would take the shot and they would hit the post. So unlucky, unlucky for us not to score. They would have another chance for Jesse Lingard, for a throw on, and Jesse Lingard would pick it up again. He's looking to be a wonder star, but he the shot and it would go wide. So sorry, well, I don't know why I just did all my tongue. I made like some noise, dribble noise, whatever was going with the video. So we go into the second half here, the first half, not really adding too much excitement. So we're, we're trying to win the game, and we're trying to get as good form as possible. But, it'd be a, but we would score the first goal in the 52nd minute. As as a great pass from Oidegaard, Oid pretty sure. And an Alari with a, a great finish into the top right corner. So it would, it would be 1 0 and see how we're good. But they would get. Derby County would get a chance from kickoff here as they crossed the ball in. Eventually crossed the ball in. <laughs> Eventually crossed. They didn't cross the ball in. They, they took a shot from a long shot. Sorry about that. I thought they crossed the ball in. Sorry about that mistake. But they would have another chance in the 6 6 6 minute of 67. I see they want a free kick from the edge of the box from the slightest of tackles. I'm not quite sure what he gave it for there. But it would be a player on the line, but just just how about this? Crossbarring him, a great finish from them. And uh, by, that, by that time, I probably had my tongue in my mouth. Probably was biting my tongue. And just So a lot of tries to go on for rounds to kick off. I'm about to shoot because well, I knew it was going to get closed down. But yeah, so in the 76 minute, we were passed the ball forward. We were called to Gerardo, the new sub, and he would play it through to, to Lewis, the youngster, and it would be a, a good save. But you could you could have thought that um, Jesse Lingard, no, not Jesse, what am I talking about? Lewis would do better there. Sorry, my commentary just cut off for some reason. I'm not sure why. I think I might have pressed the button. But I'm pumped. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have noticed it, but Sam Byron in the 19th minute, what about this from the youngster, what a, a great run, Fruit ripped apart Darby, this was like, this is my game, I own it, and <laughs> he scores us probably the winning goal, but as you can see here, we, we will not end the highlights here, because we would win the ball back for some great pressing, pressing from Gerardo, he would pass the ball forward into Victor, no, Troy Dini, the new sub, love to keep playing up front with him just to keep the fit and Dini would score so a great one two between them and we've wrapped the game up and in classy style as well. So guys, um, this is pretty much the end of this video. Um, as the game, as the game finished here, um, sorry I don't have an outro or an intro yet, I'm tr working on that. But my USB has stopped working, so I'm uploading the videos for the PS4. That's why I haven't been able to make one yet. But, um, so what was that? Voice crack? I don't know. But, um, English yeah, so see you guys later. Twin Gaming Jerry, out.